Hi guys, it's me. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good day. It's 10 o'clock a.m. here. Um, so I hope you have a good day. Uh, right, today I thought we would do another four stone. Uh, I know some of you love them and I know some of you don't love them. Uh, but it's actually the most viewed video was when I made this green one. Um, <clears throat> so I thought we'd, uh, I've done a bit of tweaking today. Oh, well this morning I was just playing with some scraps. Uh, I've not polished it or anything, but this is, um, just golden translucent. And I over baked it, uh, just to, um, get it to go a bit tan coloured. Um, so I thought I would incorporate how I did this in with my method of doing the stone. Anyway, uh, before I go on, I'd just like to make a little announcement. I've made a Facebook group. Um, it's called Clay Along with Catherine. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, quite a few people have been asking me about setting up my own group. Um, so I have done. Um, and I you know hopefully it's a nice happy place where everybody can share the makes and I'm quite happy for people to you know share other people's work in there like Katie's or um, Samantha Burroughs or anybody's tutorials off YouTube and stuff you know I'll leave links um, preferably you know I made this it was from Jessima's here's Jessima's link more than happy for you to do that the only thing I would ask is at the minute while the group's getting going that you don't do any self-promoting of your businesses or um, of your own personal channel channels um, just while the group gets going and everybody understands what the group's about because um, I don't want us just to get spammed um, which I know you know even with the best will in the world people do do it um, so yeah I'll leave that there go and have a look join if you'd like to um, and hopefully it'll be a lovely happy place where we can all share hints and tips and and the such right back to the stones right these are all I could find of what I've made in the past because if I ever give them away or sold them <laughs> uh, this is out of my collection I wore these I made these just with scraps um, these were a couple of pieces that I made in the last one and these are previous ones I've made I really love this one and um, that was just using blue and gold and a bit of white and I'm not so keen on this color but it's not a bad looking stone if that makes sense and I did a bit of green a bit of blue and I put, actually put a bit a tiny bit of purple in and I'm not keen on the colors but I do like how the stone looks so I kept this uh, just as a yeah you know, bit of uh, of a reminder of what I've done I have a little tub that I put my samples in and it just jogs my memory sometimes so yeah this is what we're going to do guys I'll just put them to one side now I'm going to keep it simple like I did the last one so you're going to need a little bit of white and I mean a little bit of white we're talking pinches of colour here guys um, uh, a little bit of metallic I'm going to use silver I'm going to use some Primo uh, I think this is turquoise is it turquoise? sometimes the colours aren't the same name uh, yeah turquoise I'm going to use some turquoise just because I thought it's a nice colour and I thought silver would go better with a blue and you're going to need some translucent uh, you can use two colours if you like um, I tend to just um, put more translucent with it so it pales the colour down a bit which you can see in this green one um, and there's a little band running here that's got more translucent in so it makes the colour paler uh, but yeah you don't need a, a lot it's just translucent one colour or two if you so wish some metallic or you could use uh, maybe some uh, mica powder if you haven't got any metallic clay uh, but any metallic would do 
for the amount we're using and you just need a teensy bit of white you could just use a bit of scrap white it's fine I just haven't got any out so I've just pulled this block out right I shall um, go and prep um, a few bits and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to put the bits um, the mixes together see you in a minute Hi guys, right, I've got some bits ready. Right, I've been trying to work out how to make it easy to explain to you. So, this is translucent and it's the equivalent of about two bars on a Primo or a Fimo. Um, so what's that about an ounce? Uh, it's probably going to be a bit too much to be honest, but um, it was the easiest way I could work it out for you so we've got four lots of translucent and what we need is um, we need we're gonna need some translucent anyway uh, so I'll just put one block to one side we may need a little bit more uh, we'll see how we go we need some with a pinch of white in fact let's do the colours first um, we need one blue with just a pinch so as you can see this is one bar of Primo and I am literally doing the just the minimum end it is literally an eighth of an inch so that will give us one colour and then I'm going to double that so um, in fact hmm I know this turquoise is quite strong but um let's we'll just double that so we've got um, an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch um, for our blues and there'll just be a nice subtle color difference there um, so as you can see from this block I've not used hardly any of color and then we need um, I'm going to cut this one in half So that's like one bar from the, the the primo block and with one we're going to put a little bit of white and again just um just the the little we'll do a little bit more to be fair probably the same as the blue we'll say so about an eighth of an inch it's really hard to unless I measured them um, right so uh, it's just a good pinch guys a good pinch of white with one and then uh, where's my silver gone I've lost it oh where have I put it it was there just a minute ago and now it's disappeared on me oh, really, oh there it is I moved it and with the silver um, I'm going to do a quarter uh, the size of that so about that much if you think that's probably about a quarter of that part so we've got a lump of trans on its own we've got um, a pinch of turquoise double the amount again two pinches a pinch of white and about a quarter to the part of silver hope that makes sense to you guys um, say unless I weigh them it's hard to um, to figure it out but you like I say you don't need a lot of it anyway 
so what we need to do now is apart from the trans obviously although you could condition that if you like uh, I'm just going to go and condition these um, and then we'll come back and we will start uh, making our different blocks uh, for stacking so I'll go and condition these and I'll be back in a sec hi guys these are all conditioned now uh, I'm just going to pop um, I've put a little post-it note for my trans and my trans with white because I will get them mixed up I'm just going to pop these to one side uh, with the silver because we're just going to work on the uh, blue at the minute and we're just going to make um, a Skinner blend uh, it doesn't have to be perfect guys um, obviously this one isn't the same shape as each other so I'll just join them like that and I'm just going to chop this edge off here and pop it over there just so they're roughly the same size for blending uh, and we're just going to skin a blend this uh, and then what we're going to end up doing is making a long strip of a skinner blend and then we're going to cut it and layer it so i'll just go and skin a blend this i'll be back in a sec okay guys there's my blend say so it's not dead neat it doesn't really need to be uh, as long as um you know you've just got a, a color change through it now i'm just going to snip a little bit off the top and put it to one side for later because we just need that little bit to add to one of our layers and then um, I'm just going to fold this and pass it through that way and get a, a long strip we're aiming for making a stack probably two inches by two inches so try and get your your strip um, about that length so I'll just go and pass this through now and I'm going to do it on a three or a four um, probably um, a four if I can do it see you in a minute right guys I've done it on the A3 um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start I can't actually, oh there we go couldn't tell which end was dark then with my lights um, and all I'm going to do is oh we need a bit of translucent for this guys so I'll just go and pass um a bit of your translucent through I'm just going to take this in half go and pass your translucent through on the same size as you did your uh, Skinner blend um, I'll be back in a sec sorry guys I forgot about that uh, yeah we'll be doing most of our stuff um, on a three or a four whichever works best for you um, so just um, bear that in mind when we're getting the bits together right so we're gonna cut this bad boy up into um like two inch ish strips um i'm just gonna chop it while i'm talking guys um and then um oh that won't fit that'll do and it do again we don't have to be overly neat about this uh, so I'm just going to start with the darkest first uh, do a little bit of layering and then I'm just going to add uh, a bit of translucent just to give it a bit of band oh I didn't mean to rip that and it, again it doesn't have to be perfect I just want to give a bit of banding um, put a bit of banding in uh, I'm just trying to cut that next strip and I've got a few ready I'll just tear them um, so yeah we're just going to build this up going from dark to light uh, and pop a bit of uh, translucent in between a few of your layers uh, I think I put two pieces on that to make that band a bit thicker and 
and this just gives us um, just a nice graduation guys like I say it doesn't have to be perfect that's what I love about making these is sometimes if it's not perfect it works better so there we go that's our block band and what we're going to do with this is um, oh we're just going to pork remember this little tool I made with the cocktail sticks uh, we're just going to pork through and this just blends the bands a little bit you don't have to do you don't have to do this guys um, I just find it looks a bit more natural it breaks the bands up and I'm just going to flip it and go back this way Now I have used quite a bit more clay than I normally would um, personally uh, but it's better than messing with uh, little fiddly bits isn't it I'm just going to give this a roll to get it to come together keep forgetting I've got them tiny Pandora things don't I never mind I've done it now right so that's one block done or one band done uh, we'll put that to one side right our second one is going to be um, we're going to need this little bit we're going to need a bit of our silver mix, not a lot. Um, we need some of our translucent white and we need some translucent and we're going to layer and put a few smudges in. So I will just go and pass uh, these through um, the pasta machine. Uh, and get them all to the same thickness uh, and I'll be back in a sec sorry guys I know I'm doing a lot of to and fro in but I, I've got um, an engine on my machine so it makes a hell of a racket and that's why I keep pausing the video when I'm uh, doing it but I should be alright for a bit now because I've made everything nice and thin right we need trans, trans and white and then we're going to smudge a bit of colour uh, in layers and then we're going to chop it through uh, with a hard edge so I'll start off with um, a bit of translucent and a bit of translucent white and again I'm not being too pedantic about how neat it is guys um, I'm just getting some layers down uh, now what I'm going to do is just get some blue and just give it a smudge and I'm picking from both ends then I've got a mix of the colours although they don't look overly different they actually will be a bit different when they're coloured so I'm just smudging some blue down you don't have to do a lot just um, a few bits I'll just get this into a bit more of a uniform shape and I'm just going to go through and pork just to soften that blue through the white uh, through the translucent a little roll again let's try and get it into a bit more of a uniform shape for me that is and then I'm going to layer a bit more 
of the translucent and the translucent white on. And then I'm going to put a bit of silver smudges on. And this just creates a bit of a, an interesting band. And on this one, I'm going to chop through uh, with the edge of my um, metal ruler. So I'll just get this together again get it something like and then I'm just gonna pop a little bit of stuff over the top like so give it a little roll just to get it consolidated and then I'm just using the edge of my metal ruler and I'm just going to chop through and again this just smudges the bits together and gives a bit of interest and you can do it however you want uh, you could just poke through again guys I just uh, thought I'd uh, chop this time And that, I'll just give it a flip and roll it. In fact, I think I'll chop that again, guys, because I can just see the um, the silver's not as broken up as I'd like. So I'm just going to chop through again. just so it breaks that silver up a little bit more because it pushes it to the layers underneath there that should be better now and that's another layer done Uh, right, for layer three, I've got a few notes at the side, guys, or as I just forget what I'm doing. Um, I have like a, a little book that I write things down in. Layer three is going to be um, a stack with silver and these two. So... This is going to be uh, a pretty decent amount of banding through this one. So let's just put that scrap to one side. Let's just break these pieces up into suitable layers. So I've got silver some white and trans some trans uh, I'll do one more silver and then I think I'll just finish I need we need a bit of uh, the white for the last block so I'll just finish this off with a uh, translucent like so, it's a bit too much put them bits to one side alright with this one guys I'm just going to roll it out and double it so I'll just get it going 
chop it in half and double it up and then we're really going to chop into this one uh, with my ruler because I want to get that same effect as I'm got in this bit that was playing with um, in the last one we did a layer like this and then we scrumpled it all up uh, which I think looks cool but I think this will take uh, I'll start doing this instead um, of doing the scrumpling layer because it just puts a lovely flick of colour through the translucent there let's get this squidged back together I'm just going to turn it to make it easier to roll And then I'm going to do it again, in, but in different direction, which one did I did last time. I'll do it this way now. Oh, sorry about the noise, guys. And I'm just going to go across this as well, just to make sure it's well and truly mushed through there we go and this will be our third layer now sorted so that's three layers guys our next layer is literally um, just whatever bits you've got left over of your whites and your translucent um, so I know this I've, there's a bit of translucent there but that's white uh, so I'll just go and condition some more translucent because we are going to need a bit for um, the top of our block and the bottom of our block as well uh, just to finish it off um, so I'll just go and condition some more uh, translucent and then um, we can start putting things together back in a sec okay guys right let's just cut this to size So I'll do, I can just stretch this white out a bit. It's funny isn't it, some stuff you think I'm not going to have enough and some things you think uh, I'm going to have to do some more but I've measured that out quite well. I've got a bit of silver left um, but I'm not overly concerned about that silver, it can get added back. Uh, there's not too much translucent in it. Uh, a bit more translucent I'll just put these scraps down here like so and then I'll pop this translucent on the top Let's give that a little roll. And then I'm just going to chop through this guys with my ruler again. Um, just to blend it a little. I 
I just like how it looks when it's a bit blended. And there we go. It's our last layer complete. So we've got our blue for our base. Uh, I will just give this a little roll out because it's got still got little dimples in it. Not that it matters too much. Give the bottom a little roll. Right. I think I will get my little blocks out to help me with this bit, guys. At least then I can get a decent shape going. There we go. If I can get it kind of two inch by two inch and make everything else the same. Then it should go together a bit easier for me, shouldn't it? There we go. Right, so that's my base. Uh, then I'm going to put my colour and silver mix next just need to stretch this out a bit guys just so that it fits before i start doing anything i can roll it a bit i suppose Then I'm going to put my silver and um, whatever it was called on. Silver and translucent block. Get a little roll. And then we've got our translucent and white bit. Give that a little roll. I'm just gonna just blend these sides a little bit, guys. It's quite a big block this. Is this still classed as a cane? I don't know the uh, terminology. I'm not doing canes. Um, I just call them blocks, don't I? <laughs> and then all I'm going to do guys is just using this bit of scrap uh, translucent that's left over. I'll just put a little layer of translucent on top um, just to, you well, use it up really, but it just gives you a, that bit of protection, doesn't it? Just layer it up. Waste not, want not. Right guys, now for the finale, you know it's entirely up to you whether you want to do this or not uh, and you need to think about the way you're going to be cutting into it. So if I'm going to be cutting it from this way, I'm going to get one of these and I'm going to push it in and it'll just give us like a ripple in our layer uh, like this, make it look more natural. 
now you can do that afterwards once you've sliced a piece you can manipulate it a bit but I quite like doing it now uh, so I'm just gonna push the top of this in not all the way down uh, but just so that I've got a bit of a dim dint and then I'll just get it back to some semblance of a block it's getting quite warm so I'm going to need to rest it before we do anything else You can't get rid of that dimple in the top. How fun is that? There we go, guys. That is a huge block for me. I don't normally do them this big, do I? I'm just going to give the bottom a roll because it's... disappearing a bit. There we go. One huge block gonna get lots of stuff out of that right guys I'm gonna let this uh, rest um, open my window and put it in the cool just let it rest a little bit um, and then what I'm gonna do is because this video is gonna be so super long um, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna do a slice and maybe pop it in a mold um, and then I'll make another video showing you what we can do with it. Um, you know, like I used to do with, uh, if I made something, I'd do a scrap busting video the day after, wouldn't I? Uh, but yeah, we've made the block. I will cut a slice into it and just form a piece so you can see the pattern. Um, then you've got the gist and then I'll upload um, some, uh, pendant ideas and stuff in the next video but yeah I'll let this cool guys and I'll see you all in a bit hi guys right I've had a rest the clay's had a rest um here's our block uh I've just gone and got myself a coffee because my bum was going numb um right we're going to take a slice off this uh I'll just pop it in a mold um and I'll bake one off then you can see the final results uh, to see if you want to have a go and then I'll um, I'll edit and get this video ready and then I'll make another video making some bits of jewellery with um, with what we've made today uh, I think that would be better all the videos are going to be for, uh, for hours right let's get a slice of this off this is the worst bit now hoping that it's uh, come together okay so I'm going to take a fairly thick slice off Ooh. this should look lovely I've got a couple of bubbles but the mold will sort that out and I can di I'm going to distort it a little bit guys so that when it's in the mould it um, looks a bit more like let's just pop this to one side I'll just give it a little roll to get that front surface smooth-ish um, oh I didn't that's the end of the block Um, it'll probably get a bit more interesting away from the edge 
but I'll just use this bit for now and I'm just going to pop it in this mould just stretch it out a bit and deform it a bit and I just like to get the shape kind of going first before I start shaving any bits off and of course none of the these bits will go to waste guys I'll make beads or uh, you know use it for the inside of other stuff I did put a bit too much on there didn't I I didn't want stuck. There we go. I'll just get this pressed in. This is one of those uh, new moulds. You know the um, Russian guy whose name I keep forgetting. The links in the descrip in the description thing. Just give it a nice roll. is nice there we go let's grab a bit of paper go just got a little bit distorted there uh, it's, there's a bit of a crumb guys I'm just making sure it's gone right I'll pop this in the oven uh, and then um, you can see how everything turns out and I'll see you in a minute. Hi guys, there we go. I'll just give it a really quick sand and buff. Uh, it could do with a bit of sand, to be honest. Uh, of course, you can use your varnishes or your um, uh, whatever they're called, <laughs> UV resin. Uh, in fact, I think that that's got UV resin on rather than. Um, but you can see that one this hasn't got anything on you can see how much uh, polishing and stuff brings out the the colors uh, I think if I was going to do this scheme again I'd probably pick a blue that was had a little bit more black in it uh, just so it's uh, a little bit darker uh, but it looks it still looks cool um, it's hard really to see uh, but uh, you, you could pick up a bit of the translucency that's coming through my ring light that's in front of me uh, and I did actually over bake it I went talking to my husband and forgot as you do and uh, of course my um, that's just the back guys my uh, clear cernet has gone uh, a little bit uh, milky where it's been kind of over baked um, but that I think that adds to it so that's what I was meaning before about it doesn't matter which translucent clay you've got uh, because um, they all work really really well um, it's trying to get you to see some of the translucency through it um, but yeah, so uh, I'll end this video here guys and then I'll make another video 
maybe later on because it is quite late in the afternoon now uh, maybe later on or um, I'll do it uh, I'll film it tomorrow and I'll make a few caps and things and we'll put a few bits together in that video because uh, I don't want to rush and I'd really like to um, make sure everything's got a nice finish on it uh, but yeah there you go guys I shall see you in the next video where we'll make some things with this uh, block um, and then uh, yeah see you later bye guys <laughs>